so we got a 2018 Ford Edge, and we're gonna do a service on it, change the oil on it, and we're gonna take the shield down here because you can't get it hanged, and it covers everything. The oil filter's up in the front here. So that's uh, a seven millimeter, and we're gonna take all the screws out to pop this thing out. Alright, we have a Ford Edge 2.0 and we got a 15 millimeter socket. We're gonna crack the drain plug loose. And we're gonna get our pan ready to catch it. I think most of the work is taking the cover off with all the little seven millimeters, but time is to not make a mess so that's what our goal is today so. my goal every time is to make Steve do more work <laughs> I'm gonna spill this on your sneaker Tony <laughs> uh, right. so those are his works yeah uh, that's six quarts so we'll get this down and we have our oil filter adapter for the filter it's the small we have the motorcraft filter we'll give you the number and it's kind of recessed up there by the AC compressor and the lines. So we're going to use our adapter wrench to get in there and twist it off. Oh, Steve. So Steve's flapping Steve his gums. Game and then his fucking kicked <laughs> and fucked them all up. Sorry. <laughs> Steve's flapping his gums. He drops the oil wrench. I wish I had that on camera. And bink right into the oil pan. So again, we made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see him fish that thing out of there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, oil filter adapter here. And we slide it on the filter. And you can crack it loose. Now I can grab it by hand. Turn it down. And try not to spill any oil. Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> That's the worst part of the filter. Yeah. The oil filter is the most messy part of this whole thing, usually. Oh, hit the bucket. What else can go wrong, right? <laughs> Drip dry, and then we're gonna unthread that. And we'll get our new filter. All right, we're gonna unscrew our filter over here. Get our new one. And you can do all this on your driveway on some ramps, but we get the car on lift just to video it and make it yeah. easier to see everything. Yeah, and you won't have Tony distracting you to make a mess. So it should, <laughs> should go good for you. So, and this is an FL 910S factory oil filter, Motorcraft. A little oil on you. It's not clean oil, Steve. It's uh, going to get right in that oil filter, filter and screw, screw the whole system up. Yeah. <laughs> so our oil filter housing is clean. So we're good there. Watch for the gasket. Sometimes the gaskets stick to those. Right, yeah. Steve? Yep. Yeah. And that'll cause a leak. So we always inspect it. All right, we're going to snug it up by hand. Then we'll put the wrench on it and give it a you know, quarter turn. All right, let's get our drain plug back in. Inspect your drain plug O-ring. Make sure there's no tears or pits or anything. This one looks good. So we're gonna reuse it. Put that in there. All right, and we already got our wrench set up for the filter wrench. So we'll set that on there. 
Give us that little quarter turn. Wipe it all down nice and clean. All right, we got that. Now we'll tighten up the 15 millimeter drain plug. By the gold. I'm loving that thing today. I hate it didn't fall in the oil. Yeah. All right, plug snug. Everything's wiped down and dry. We're going to put that cover back up. And, you know, when you're under here and you get the cover off, you're looking, inspecting, making sure there's no axle seals leaking. Everything looks dry on this thing, so it's in great shape. So, um, so yeah, we're looking good. So, all right, we're going to get our cover back up on it. All right, we're going to put our cover back up here. And try to catch a couple of screws one on the front, one on the back. Uh. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> it fell on my shoulder. Well, that's good. I want to get a couple of screws on this thing uh, before I tighten it all down. And then we'll get them all started. Okay. Go around, snug them all up. What size were these, Steve? Seven mils. Seven millimeters. And you just want to give them a little something because they'll, they'll, they'll strip out the clip. So you don't want to hit them too hard. This looks like a button plug that was in there for some reason. So, Okay, so we got this all back on. We made sure our oil drain plug was tight. We made sure our oil filter was tight, wiped down. We inspected for leaks. And, you know, this is a good time to check all your tire pressures. And um, we're going to check all the fluids and belts and everything while, we, while you're doing your service on it. Give it a light check. You know, if you're going 5,000 miles in between oil changes, you know, it could be a short time or it could be a long time. Just get in the habit of checking all your tire pressures, looking at your tires, giving the car a good look over, and we'll check everything underneath the hood. Okay, we got our 5.30 synthetic high-performance motor oil. Royal purple, Ricky, will not yep. we? are going to flower tomorrow. <laughs> Everything's Rick, top of the line. Rick doesn't mess around. Oh, look at that, huh? So this takes six quarts, Steve? Yeah. Six quarts, man. Yeah, six quarts. Stop talking. I don't want to spill anything. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve makes fun of me for spilling oil. We only spill it. Well, you step on the edge of it while it's on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get this filled up, throw the extra cord in, and we're gonna check all our fluids and uh, belts and hoses. Make sure everything, do a light check on it. Make sure Rick's all okay to go. Yeah. Oh, he's gone, man. Gonna be styling and profiling. <laughs> we all get kidnapped while I'm down there. <laughs> That's any lucky will, right? <laughs> Six. Yep. It's like an amino acid drink. <laughs> okay, so we're looking down to make sure we don't have any oil leaks where the filter is. It's kind of hard to see it. But we don't see any spraying out, so that's good. So we'll go with the oil. You look underneath the car just to make sure you don't have anything dripping down there. That's all good. All right, you can shut it off, Rick. Let's check our level. Remember, we put six quarts in. Just below the hash mark right there. 
on my thumbnail. So level's perfect, so we're good. So we're looking at the belt on this thing. We're looking down here, there's two belts on it, and there's no dry cracks in the belts at all. And if you have cracks within, you know, one inch of each other, it's time to consider starting to change the belt, the dry rotted belt, and just snap and let loose on you. Our coolant level is full at the max line over here. So we're good for the coolant level there. And our, uh, there's really no transmission dipstick on this thing. Everything's got a plug to check now. So we're not dealing with that. And we're gonna put a little coating on our batteries here. On the terminals, we have some red spray coating to put on there to protect those. We're gonna put that on uh, right now, I'll show you that. The battery terminal protector, and we're just gonna spray the, the terminals. They're nice and clean. Just put a little coating on them. Get the back there. This stuff dries pretty quick. And I'll take care of that. We got, we got some spray we're gonna spray on our hood latch here. Just to make sure this thing keeps, you know, working fine. So give that a little soaking. Um, all quick stuff, you know, so. Check the uh, brake fluid. Yeah, the level. brake fluid level is full. Right up here, you can shake it, see it. So the level's right up. You can see the level mark right here where my finger is. Yeah, it's clean, so it's a little hard to see, but yeah, it's up there. So what you do is you just give it a little shake, and you can normally see it. Yeah, you can see it. So that's good. And uh, so our oil level is full. We've checked all our fluids and uh, belts. It's a power steering fluid, on Steve. I didn't see a... It's got electric steering on it, so there's okay. no power steering reservoir on this. Uh, and that's getting pretty popular with a lot of it. Yeah, you know... So Steve yeah. and I have been working on cars <laughs> since I was 14, and Rick's been hanging out with us for that long, too. Yeah. <laughs> so. He doesn't work on cars. Because <laughs> so, he can't change the spark plug. That's okay. And I smash the windshield when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's put our little boot back on here. We're good here. Okay, so uh, everything under the car looks good. We've already replaced the wiper blades on it, so those are good. You want to lift them up and make sure that there's no tears or any loose spots on them. These are new. Um, and we did the air filter already, so we don't have to check that. So we'll get under the hood. We're just going to finish doing a light check on it, and that's going to line this thing up.